So in today's video, we are going to look at angle properties of parallel lines and solve a couple of examples as well. So what are parallel lines? Now parallel lines are straight lines which are always the same distance apart and can never meet. Now considering this diagram, we have two parallel lines which are the lines AB and then CD. Now we also have the arrow here indicating that indeed these two lines are parallel to each other. Now if this pair of parallel lines is cut through by another straight line called an intersecting transversal, which is the line EF, then it creates pairs of angles with special properties. Now these pairs of angles are the corresponding angles, alternate angles, vertically opposite angles and co-interior angles. So first of all, let's talk about corresponding angles. So corresponding angles are said to be equal and the lines give rise to an F shape. Now this F shape can be the normal F shape. It can be an upside down F shape or a back to forward F shape. So we can have this as the normal F shape. We can also have the back to forward F shape we can have the upside down F shape. Now in that case, we say that angle A corresponds with angle E, angle B corresponds with angle F, angle C corresponds with angle J, and then angle D corresponds with angle H. Therefore, for corresponding angles, A is equal to E, B is equal to F, C is equal to J, and then D is equal to H. Now let's move on to alternate angles. So alternate angles are also said to be equal. Now the lines give rise to a Z shape or a zigzag shape. So we can have something like this, which is a Z shape, or better still, we can have a zigzag shape. So in that case, Angle C alternates with angle F and then angle D also alternates with angle E. Therefore, C is equal to F and then D is equal to E. So that is that with alternate angles. Now let's talk about vertically opposite angles. So for vertically opposite angles, when two straight lines intersect at a point, four angles are created. Now let's consider the lines AB and then EF. At the point of intersection, we have four angles created. Now the angles that are vertically opposite to each other are said to be equal. So angle A is equal to angle D and then angle B is also equal to angle C. Now considering the lines CD and then EF, angle E is also equal to angle H and then angle F is equal to angle J. So that is that with vertically opposite angles. A is equal to D, B is equal to C, E is equal to H, and then F is equal to J. Now to the last one, that is co-interior angles. So co-interior angles are angles that occur between two parallel lines that is being crossed by an intersecting transversal and they occur on the same sides of the transversal. Now when the line EF crosses the pair of parallel lines that is AB and then CD, the angles on the same sides of the intersecting transversal are said to be co-interior angles. So D plus F is equal to 180 degrees and C plus E is also equal to 180 degrees. So D and F are said to be supplementary angles and then C plus E are also said to be supplementary angles just because they add up to 180 degrees. Now let's solve a couple of examples on this. Now to our first example, example 1, calculate the size of the lettered angles in the diagram below. So here we have a diagram which contains a pair of parallel lines. And then we have an intersecting transversal also cutting through the pair of parallel lines. Now our interest is to find the lettered angles A, B, C and D. Now 
Now let's try to solve this problem together. So to begin with, let's find the value of B. Now we know that these two angles are corresponding angles and we know that corresponding angles are equal. So first of all, we say that corresponding angles corresponding angles are equal. In that case, B is equal to 60 degrees. So that's very simple. So this is the value of angle B. Now let's move on. Now these two angles B and C are vertically opposite angles. And in the previous section, we said that vertically opposite angles are equal. So we have vertically opposite angles are equal. In that case, we can find the value of C. So B is equal to C and that is equal to 60 degrees. Therefore, we have the value of C to be 60 degrees. Now at this point, we know the value of B, we know the value of C. Now we are going to find the value of A and D. So first of all, let's find the value of A. We all know that the angles on a straight line adds up to 180 degrees. Therefore, A plus B should be equal to 180 degrees. Since we already know the value of B, we can find the value of A. So we have angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees therefore we have A plus B equals 180 degrees we know the value of B to be 60 degrees therefore A plus 60 equals 180 we transpose 60 to the right hand side we have 180 minus 60 which is equal to 120 therefore the value of a is 120 degrees now since we know the value of a a and d are vertically opposite angles therefore for vertically opposite angles we know that they are equal so we say that vertically opposite angles are equal therefore a is equal to d is equal to 120 degrees so the value of d is 120 degrees so in summary we had a to be 120 degrees b to be 60 degrees c to be 60 degrees and then D to be 120 degrees. Now let's move on to the next example. Now to our second example, we are going to find the values of U, V, W, X, Y, and Z in the diagram below. So like we did in the previous example, let's find the values of the variables. Now these two angles are corresponding angles. And we know that corresponding angles are equal. So in that case, W is equal to 30 degrees. So corresponding angles are equal. And then we have W equals 30 degrees. Now let's move on. W and then V are vertically opposite angles. And then we know that vertically opposite angles are also equal. Therefore, W is equal to V is equal to 30 degrees. So vertically opposite angles 
are equal. Therefore, we have W equals V equals 30 degrees. V equals 30 degrees. Now, let's consider this straight line. We know that angles on the straight line add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, U plus V should be equal to 180 degrees. And since we know the value of V, we can find the value of U. So that's what we are going to do. So angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, we have U plus V equals 180 degrees. We know the value of V, which is 30 degrees. So U plus 30 equals 180. And then U equals 180. We transpose this to the right hand side. And that is equal to 150 degrees. Therefore, U is equal to 150 degrees. Now, since we know the value of u, we also know that u and then x are vertically opposite angles, and then vertically opposite angles are equal. So, vertically opposite angles are equal. Vertically opposite angles are equal so that u is equal to x is equal to 150 degrees x is equal to 150 degrees now we know the value of u v w and then x we need to find the values of y and then z u and then y are corresponding angles and they are equal so for the sake of space i'm going to write that here corresponding angles are equal so u equals y equals 150 degrees therefore we have y to be 150 degrees now y and then z are vertically opposite angles and then we know that they are equal so vertically opposite angles are equal therefore y is equal to z is equal to 150 degrees the value of z is 150 degrees so in summary we have u to be 150 degrees we have v to be 30 degrees w also to be 30 degrees we have x to be 150 y also 150 and then lastly, we have Z also to be 150 degrees. Now let's move on to the next section. So now let's move on and discuss the properties of parallel lines in a triangle. Now we are going to consider the triangle ABC. And inside of the triangle, we have the line DE. Now the line DE is parallel to the line BC, which happens to be one of the sides of the triangle. Now from the angle properties of parallel lines, the angle A is equal to angle C and the angle B is also equal to angle D. Now in this case, we see that angle A and C are corresponding angles and then angle B and D are also corresponding angles. Now let's move on as we take an example on this. Now to example 3, in the diagram below, PQR is a triangle, angle RQP is 60 degrees and angle QRP is 80 degrees. Calculate the angle RST. So in this diagram, we have these two lines that is ST and then PQ to be parallel to each other. And then we have the angle RQP to be 60 degrees and then 
kill rp also to be 80 degrees now we are asked to find the angle rst and this is rst so we are looking for the value of this angle now let's try to solve this problem together So to solve this problem, that is to find the angle RST, we need to know the values of this angle and then this angle. Then we can use the property of a triangle, which is the sum of interior angles of a triangle add up to 180. And then we can use that to find the angle RST. Now, since we know the value of this angle, which is KRP, we need to find the value of this angle so as to help us to find the angle we are looking for, that is RST. So what do we do? Now from the angle properties of parallel lines in the triangle, we know that this angle corresponds to this angle. Now this angle is the angle RQP. It corresponds with the angle RTS. And we know that corresponding angles are also equal. In that case, the angle RTS is 60 degrees so we say that corresponding angles are equal corresponding angles are equal rqp which is equal to 60 degrees is equal to the angle rts therefore we say that angle rts is equal to 60 degrees so we have this angle to be 60 degrees now since we know the values of this angle and then this angle we can find the angle rst so we say that the interior angles of a triangle sum up to 180 degrees and it is very important to put down all these properties as you solve the problem so the angles srt plus rts plus rst is equal to 180 degrees so angle srt is 80 degrees so 80 plus angle rts 60 degrees plus angle rst equals 180 degrees now when we add these two values we have 140 so 140 plus angle rst equals 180 degrees we transpose this to the right hand side therefore we have angle rst to be equal to 180 minus 140 and then this gives us 40 degrees therefore the angle rst is equal to 40 degrees so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye